Hi everybody, it's Kayla, and welcome back to another speed build in The Sims 4. Today, my friends, we are building what I'm calling a, a grandma's bakery. I don't know if that's the official title, but that's the vibe we're going for, okay? So basically, I built this really cute bakery. It's sort of like a house converted into a bakery, and I picture this, like, old grandma owns it, her grandkids come and stay and help her out all the time, and she's lived here and owned this place for years. Her apartment's on top of the building. She has, like, a spare bedroom for her grandkids to come visit, and I just, I love the idea of the sim who owns this place, right? Like, I had so much fun designing it. It's kind of, I don't want to call it eclectic on the inside, but, like, there's definitely some weird, like, mismatched things, and, like, I just, I had fun furnishing this because it isn't, like, my normal style at all as far as furnishing goes. And I also had a minor slash major incident while building this. So I'm going to tell you a little story. We're going to take a trip down memory lane to last weekend, last Saturday, actually, when I was streaming for 16 hours. <laughs> I did a 16 hour live stream to celebrate my Simsiversary on YouTube and also the end of my semester and kind of like hang out with you guys and also make myself suffer because like I apparently want to suffer. And so I streamed for 16 hours that day and the first thing I did was build this place. So the first hour of my stream I was like, I'm ready, I'm on, I'm building, I'm recording this, we're getting some pre-recording done, we're doing it. It was like 9 a.m. I was up, I was, I, I got up and I got ready and I was gonna win you know, as some might say. And then I was building this for like an hour and then literally 57 minutes into my 16 hour stream, my power went out. And so it was like one of those like little flashies that it does, like where it like flashed, like it went out and then came back on. But of course, when the power went out, my PC shut off, so my stream died. And so I've been live for an hour, and then all of a sudden my stream dies. And of course, I also hadn't saved my game a single time that entire time I've been live. So the entire build I'd done for the last hour was just gone, which was like the whole build, like the whole outside and like almost the whole first floor of the build. We just lost it. It disappeared. It was gone. <laughs> so as you can probably imagine, I was really happy about this situation. Loved the fact that it just disappeared. So I, I rebuilt it, of course. I came back on once the internet came back and I was like, okay, we're finishing this stream and I'm finishing this build. And so I rebuilt the whole thing. And so this version is actually the second version of this build. I think the outside is like exactly identical though. Uh, I think I recreated it. Exactly. I'm pretty good at like, not to weird flex or anything, but I'm like pretty good at remembering that sort of thing. So the outside is the same. I also had the idea to build this based exclusively on that window in the front. That laundry day window in the front is why I built this build. Just so that I could use that window. How ridiculous is that? <laughs> also, the floor plan is so weird. There's these like stairs in the middle that go up to the apartment where they live. And so I like how weird the floor plan is. I kind of like the way it looks. It was all very intentional and I'm kind of proud of this build. Like I kind of want to play in it. I like how it looks like a house too. I always have a hard time building community lots because I feel like they always look like houses and I don't know how to build community lots and stuff. But this one, I feel like it's okay that it looks kind of like a house because it's like, it was a house. It's like a bed and breakfast, but it's, it's a breakfast, but it only has a bed for grandma. You can't stay here. Only she can. But I bet she like lets the guests stay. I bet she like knows all her customers really well because it's like a small town. So she like knows Jimmy and Bill that come every morning before work. And like, the, you know, I just, I like the idea of this, like this small town vibe. It's like Gilmore Girls. This, this is like Gilmore Girls vibes right here. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. And I, I'm going to play in it. I think I might. I need to like make a grandma and play in it. I also really wanted to use those doors for movie hangout stuff because I have literally never used them. And I was like, okay, this is the perfect time. Like grandma has painted her doors all fancy. Like, you know, she did that herself. Like we know she painted those. Okay. And I just, I love this place. Okay. I'm so excited about it. She has this big kitchen. She, I put the cupcake machine down. When else can you use the cupcake machine? Like it's a great time. Also, I've realized that running a bakery is like one of the hardest ways to make money in the Sims because your Sims have to do so much work to create baked goods, right? Like to have a fully stocked store, it's like constantly baking things to sell. You have to have a high skill, you have to spend money to make everything. And then as you're spending money, you're not really, you're not really making it back in the beginning. So like, it's really difficult to make a bakery. I did a rags to riches bakery on my Twitch channel pretty recently, and it was so hard. Like you can't exclusively do a bakery. It would take you so long to do that because you can't even afford the kitchen at first and stuff. So like, it's real difficult, but it's kind of fun. 
Also, this place doesn't technically work as a bakery because it doesn't, like, you couldn't run it like a retail shop because of the fact that it's missing, like, the retail items, but you could always change it, like, change that front bit out for, like, the retail desk and then put some of the retail shelves in there and have it work. This is more like a cafe kind of thing, like, it functions like a cafe, so you can actually, your sims, come here and, like, visit it and actually buy baked goods. <laughs> but if you wanted to be granny, you'd have to change it up a little bit with some get to work items. But you can actually run a bakery with get to work because they have that retail system. And so you can't like own a bakery like you could a restaurant, but you could using the retail system, like make a stuff, like buy a store and then put all these different items in it. You know how it goes. You understand what I'm talking about. It's a lot harder to do that than run a regular store though, in my experience. And I've got experience. I'm a real simmer, thank you very much. I also have spent the last like many hours editing a video that I think I posted yesterday. I am pre-recording right now, so like I don't know what my schedule is gonna be exactly. I know I'm, I'm making like a set of like eight videos, but like when I post them is kind of up for grabs right now, up in the air, I should say. Sorry, but like I'm pretty sure I posted it yesterday and it's this like ranking of The Sims 4 packs and I have spent so long on this video. I don't know why I decided to do it now, like when I'm traveling, because I should make short videos that are easy to edit right now like that would make sense but instead I like wrote this scripted video and I'm spending hours editing it and like it I just it better be worth it so I'm gonna link it down below okay because I, I put a lot of effort into this and I'm really proud of it I'm not done yet I'm still working on it but we're getting somewhere okay I'm really enjoying this more like commentary style about the sims that I've been doing kind of inspired a little bit by Iron Seagull who I'll link down below he does a lot more of them than I do and he has like news updates and stuff but I, I sort of like this like commentary type video about the sims I made one of them I did that that, like everything wrong with the sims 4 build mode video and i had so much fun making that that i wanted to try it again so if you guys like these videos let me know i'm gonna post a couple and kind of like test the waters there but i'm having fun doing them and i think that they're really cool i, I just like talking like sims theory and stuff which is kind of lame i know but i just have fun with that sort of thing so if you're interested in seeing more of them i might just start posting them more often they're hard to make but like and if I have things to say, I'll post them. If I don't have anything to say, I'm not going to just make one. But, like, if I've got something important I want to talk about, maybe I can make a Sims kind of theory slash commentary thing. You get what I'm saying, though. Like, this, like, list of, like, everything wrong with The Sims 4 and, like, the best and worst of The Sims 4 and, like, all these things. The best of The Sims 4. I can make a sequel to the Everything Wrong with Build Mode video because I have so many comments of things that are, other things that are wrong. I just, I think that it's fun to complain a little bit. And also to praise a little bit. I'm not just going to complain, don't worry. <laughs> I do love The Sims a lot. But I, I just, I'm having fun with these. So let me know. Give me some feedback on that. Because I'm very curious if it's, like, worth continuing. Because, like, it takes a lot of work. So, like, is it worth it? I don't, I don't know. Please help me. I also have so much to do tonight. It's, like, 10, p oh my god, it's 10 p.m. I have to make one more build after this. Well, I've finished the build. I have to do the voiceover and, like, the fixer-upper stuff like the screenshots and intro and things like that and I also have to finish this this commentary video I'm doing my flights at 8 p.m. tomorrow though so I should be okay I do want to stream tomorrow morning oh my god sorry to complain about being busy I just pre-recording is hard and it's kind of scary so like <laughs> bear with me team I will get it done though mark my words mark my words sorry ew oh my god everything's fine but yeah my 16 hour stream actually went very well I know I talked a lot about being really nervous for it and like being overwhelmed and all these things um and so you're gonna hear me complain a lot this week probably but it went really well and I, I did it I didn't even die I like fully survived the entire 16 hours which I didn't think was possible but here we are I'm I'm still standing to tell the tale at the end of it I ended up like <laughs> painting my eyes yellow with James Charles eyeshadow palette I said painting I meant I just put on eyeshadow but like I went a little bit crazy I also meant to record videos like in that stream I was gonna record like the fixed rubber for next week and also like I don't know some Christmas builds for the week after I get back and stuff like that and then I didn't do it like I don't even know what I did how did I stream for 16 hours and only make one video like the, the goal was to make some content for YouTube but I only made the one I did play like my friends came on and I played games with them though for a little bit but that was like three hours out of the 16 what did I do for the other 16 hours? Like, I legitimately do not know. I don't even remember what I did. And that's moderately concerning, but, like, we're fine. Everything's fine. Towards the end of it. So, okay, here's this weird thing, right? So one time, I was streaming, and I went on the gallery to look for a sim, just because I was going to build, like, some Christmassy house. I think it was on Halloween. I was just going to build, like, a Christmas house, kind of as a joke. Like, haha, it's Halloween, but, like, we're making a Christmas house because it's 
Christmas now, <laughs> get it? Like, I was just being annoying, you know, as one does. And I went on the gallery to find a sim to just, like, place on the lot so I could test it and stuff. And I ended up grabbing Santa, like, I searched Santa, and I found this person that made a sim, like, a household called Santa and his hot helper. And it was, like, Santa Claus, like, Father Winter in the game. And then, well, they made their own, but, like, it was, like, Father Winter. And then it was this, like, classic, like, gallery sim, like, bleach blonde, like, <laughs> skinny little twig with these tiny waist and, like, giant boobs and stuff. And... I just thought it was so funny, like this this idea of Santa and his hot helper, and it's been like a fun meme ever since. Like I I love this this household in the gallery, and so I decided to recreate it towards the end of my stream, and then I like had her get pregnant with Santa's baby and stuff. Like I made my own hot helper, and it was just a whole thing. Like you know the gallery sims I'm talking about. Like you know exactly what I mean like, by gallery sim. Like all the most popular sims in the gallery, those like skinny blondes, like those skinny white blonde people, <laughs> you know, with their teeny tiny waist and big hips that look kind of like candy from, from Get Together, but like more so. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'll stop. I just, that's what I call a gallery sim. And I made one and I haven't made one of those in so long. And I was having a blast. I was like, she's got some work done. Like I just, anyway. It was, it was a really dumb stream. Like, I honestly, the fact that I don't remember what I did is moderately concerning because I was live for 16 hours. But I think it was a learning experience because now I know I can do a 16-hour stream. Like, in the past, I'd done 12-hour streams more than once. I did a 13-hour stream by accident once because I just kept going because I didn't want to get off yet. Like, it was a good time. Oh, I played Kitty Powers Matchmaker. That's right. That was fun. That was kind of fun. I'll, okay, so there's this game called Kitty Powers Matchmaker, which is like probably $10 on Steam. It's not that expensive. And you you play as this matchmaker, right? And so you own a matchmaking service and people come to you and they're like, hey, I want a date. And then you like pick out your little black book and you go on these blind dates and play these mini games to like try and have them get these dates and have them go well. And it's so dumb. Like all the, the dialogue in it is so weird and it's just, it's so funny. And like the, the kitty, this character who runs the store, like it's just, it's so fun. I have so much fun with it. <laughs> like every time I play it, it gets kind of wild. I, so I did this stream that I called Simsy After Dark once where I like streamed late at night and we played Kitty Powers Matchmaker. And like, it's not even like it's not PG. Like it's still PG, but like, it's like a little bit more PG-13 than normal. So we're like, ooh, it's getting kind of wild here on Little Simsy. And like, I just have fun with them, okay? And so I, I think I'm gonna stream it more often. <laughs> you wanna come to my Simsy After Dark streams? Join me, team. I'm getting kind of good at Kitty Powers, ma 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 Kitty Powers Matchmaker, by the way. Not to weird flex or anything, but like, let's be real. I'm kind of talented. There are so many dumb mini games too. Like, there's like matching games and like, I don't know. It's hard to even explain. Like, I, I couldn't even tell you. There's like little memory games and stuff too. Like, oh, like one of them, it's like, they kind of build it into the dialogue so it'll be your date will be like hey i want to call a taxi to go home can you like ask the waiter for the number and the waiter will tell you in like a six digit number and you have to remember it and then type it so the waiter will be like it's six one four two two three and then you type six one four two two three and then <laughs> you win <laughs> so it's like easy like little easy games like that that are kind of fun or it'll be like i want to order dessert and then they'll have like a dessert trolley go by that lists off four and, you have to, and they'll be like i want the fourth one you have to remember which one it was like it's little dumb games like that but it's so, they're so dumb and they're so fun. Okay, I'm, I'm plugging Kitty Powers Matchmaker right now, all right? But like, it's worth it. You should check it out on Steam. <laughs> it's, I like dumb games like that. I have fun with the dumb ones. Cause I mean, The Sims is a really fun game and it's, it's different. It's not like, it's kind of dumb, but like not at the same level of dumb. Um, but like dumb little games are kind of fun to play sometimes. That's how I feel about like movies and TV shows. Like sometimes I just want to like watch a dumb movie or like watch a dumb mindless TV show. I don't really want to watch like hard ones, like hard games that you have to actually try in and like, like heavy like story-based games and like heavy films and stuff. No, I want to watch the B movie. <laughs> I just, the thing about that, I don't know why this is exactly, but like I don't want to pay attention to them. I want to just like watch them in the background and like talk to my friends or like do other things like I don't want to pay attention to a movie which is probably it makes me sound really uncultured and like you're not wrong but like <laughs> it goes for games too I guess I just want to play dumb games I don't want to try in them I mean sometimes I do but like it's it's good to just relax and mess around with some things sometimes I guess that's how I live my life that is not true I don't relax or mess around with anything ever <laughs> I am obsessive and I try too hard and I'm losing my mind. So 
I'm a liar, basically, is the moral of the story here. But you'll see I'm furnishing Granny's apartment right now. It is really small, and it's two bedrooms, so that's kind of fun. This, I don't know how much this lot costs. Is that like 80000 it says? The blur, the preview is too blurry. It's too small. I can't read it. But like, I'm guessing like it ends up costing around 80000 simoleons, but I could be lying. Who knows? I tend to do that. It's not that expensive. It could be worse, right? <laughs> Lil Simsy's kind of bad at this, but there is a kid's bedroom here. Instead of a classic Lil Simsy green room, it's a classic Lil Simsy orange kid's room. I love to um, twist things up once in a while. <laughs> Surprising everybody here with my orange kid's room, you know what I mean? Also, there, the bed is up against the wall in the master bedroom, so it's really, really small. It's kind of hard to play in this space, but like, I figure you wouldn't really be playing here, you know? It's just kind of just for, like, decoration, unless you want to run it as a bakery, in which case, then play in it. Be granny. Make- everybody make a granny, like, make the sim. I bet she's a cat lady, like, you already know. And then- <laughs> and send me some pictures, okay? Oh, and the fun part about this is that I'm gonna- I'm recording this on Monday, and you're seeing this video on Sunday, so, like, by the time you- send me those pictures, I'm gonna have completely forgotten about this, and I'll be like, why is everyone tweeting me pictures of grannies? Like, what's going on? I'm so confused and concerned. And then I'll remember, like, oh wait, I asked for this. But like, you'll catch me off guard for a bit. Do- please, for me, I- it'll be so funny next weekend. <laughs> this is such a dumb joke. It's not that funny. But like, you get what I mean. It'll be- it'll be a fun one. We'll have a good time with that. I think that we should- yep, okay, that's the plan. Granny pics. <laughs> I also, here's how you know it's bad, guys. I've been so stressed and, like, working so much editing, like, for the past two days straight, just editing all day, like, yesterday and today, that I've been listening to One Direction music for, like, two days straight. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not kidding. We're talking, like, probably 12 hours a day, One Direction music. And I don't think that's healthy. Like, I'm reverting back to my old ways. Like, who am I? Like, 13, listening to One Direction? Like, I was a- I was a stan, I'm not gonna lie. I was. I think I still am. One of my top five most listened to artists on Spotify this year. One Direction. Yeah. Um, I hate to admit that, but it's just the truth. It was Rick Astley, One Direction, Doty, Troy Sivan, and Ben Platt, which is completely accurate. Like, Ben Platt, you know, Dear Evan Hansen, Doty, <laughs> Doty, Troy Sivan, one Direction and also Rick Astley. Like, I- I don't think you could sum me up any better. I'm a little bit embarrassed by this, but like, I know the truth. And I'm willing to admit the truth, okay? Also, my top- <laughs> my top five songs on Spotify this year were from my anxiety playlist. <laughs> like, the one I play when I listen to when I'm anxious. The one when I play when I listen to when I'm anxious, I just said. I- you know when you have like mood type playlists, like sad ones and stuff like that? My- my like anxious playlist. All five songs were like the some of the earliest songs in that playlist. <laughs> They're like Doty, Secrets for the Mad, and like Skinny Love and stuff like that are all the top. It's it's a little bit embarrassing and concerning. Oh, concerning. Also, I have my pen here. I'm messing with it. I'm sorry. I know you can't see my pen, so the fact that you can hear it is probably a little bit weird. I'm my bad team. I'm working on it. Anyway, kind of a long voiceover for such a tiny build, huh? It's like a 19 and a half minute voiceover and I cut out a lot. Like, cut out all the bathrooms, I cut out the landscaping and stuff, and it's still a pretty long video. So, you're welcome. We're making content here on Lil Simsy team. But, um, I think I'm in pretty close to the end. As you can see, I went and I tried. I- I built the whole thing and then I was like, it's not quirky enough. And so I went in and I changed a lot of stuff to make it, like, more quirky and colorful because I liked the idea of, like, crazy cat lady granny coming in with her floral wallpaper and, like, all of her mismatched plants on the tables and, like, her crazy colored sofas and chairs and stuff. Like, I just- I thought it was cute and I got excited. There's also a lot of bookshelves here so you can come and, like, read and stuff. Which, realistically, in The Sims is not that pretty practical? Like, why would you come here and have your Sims read? Who has their Sims read? That's a fun question. In The Sims 3, I read a lot of skill books because they were easier to come by, but I don't really go and, like, order skill books in The Sims 4 anymore. I think it's easier to build skills in The Sims 4 than in The Sims 3. So, like, my Sims, they never read books. Like, I never have Sims that are like, oh, I'm gonna read a book now, and I read a lot in real life. So it's weird that my sims don't read at all, right? But like, do you have your sims read? Does anybody have their sims read? And there are like some fun books with like funny descriptions in The Sims 4. I'm gonna make my sims become creepy bookworms from now on. They're all gonna read all the time. 
just constantly. I'm gonna go, though. <laughs> Again, let me know in the comments down below about grannies and books. Um, thoughts? Let me know. <laughs> but with that being said, I'm gonna cut off right here. Make sure to go ahead and leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day, and so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. I wish that I owned this bakery. I'm not good at baking, nor do I want to own and run a bakery, but like, I kind of wish I had this one. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, maybe you don't. I don't know if, do you want to run a bakery? Let me know in the comments.